so good morning. We're sitting here uh, at Gili Asahan, anchored just in front of the Eco Resort, one of our favourite little spots on the back of Lombok. We've um, been quite fortunate the last four days. We've been joined by Darren Smith, who's building a shunning down in Melbourne for a few years now. And we've been in communication, talking about boats and different bits and pieces. He's interested in some of the things we've got on Spirit the rope eyes and soft shackles and things that we use now. Darren's got quite a bit of experience and knowledge when it comes to looking after the human body. So uh, Darren, if you can just give us a little bit of uh, about your background and, um, and wh what you do. Uh, so my wife and I were in um, the sporting industry, or we were uh, for me, and uh, we were looked after triathletes and she's a dietitian looking after all different sports in the US right now. And after the Rio Olympics, uh, I decided that I wanted to change tact a little and, and try and do one of these things that I always wanted to do, which was build a boat. Darren's now um, going to give us some basics, just some, some exercises that we can do to keep nimble and to, to keep fit, especially living on a boat. Well, the exercises that Jason was doing were some of the standard ones like chin-ups and sort of uh, knee-based uh, lunges and that sort of thing. And, you know, look, if you're looking up underneath the mast there, then you may have a grab rail that you can hold on to. And so chin-ups is one thing, but also making these exercises a bit more dynamic and holding or stretching and then lifting from another arm and then maybe walking your way along. Most of us spend our time, if we were to do chin-ups, just simply trying to get the number. But the first stage of a chin-up should really be when the back is uh, recruiting the muscles around the scapula. So if you can look at me, I will recruit the muscles first before doing the chin-up, and then I'll come back down slowly. So, so so even something as simple as just uh, modifying that chin up is one thing, but where else can you do sort of pulling exercises with your arms around the boat? And this, this is where you can play. So one day you might do the standard sort of set of chin ups. Um, some, you can put your foot on the back of a uh, lounge here and drop down and do some knee strengthening exercises. And that on the boat means that you're likely to have a little bit of balance advantage as well. So these nets are fabulous um, and what the environment of the boat provides. So um, uh, we were doing some push-ups before and there's a cockpit area here and uh, you know you can do your static push-ups which, which just have a, a very simple you know feet out or knee out and you do a press up. But what about if we were to make it a little bit more dynamic every couple of days? We pick a very interesting and more dynamic sort of way of doing things. What could you use? Well, you could do a push-up that goes from the net and you can move your arms. So for instance, I'll be in a plank position here and then I can do one push-up when one arm is here and then I can move. And this movement requires my whole body to be stable and strong. And then I can do a push-up here. The type of areas I think you get stiffer and with, with age is the back. And so the cat and cow sort of stretches like this um, allow us to work our thoracic back. Well, uh, standard um, knee exercises um, are something that you can do in your cockpit and so most of us have enough room. Now Jason was um, doing some just down here in his cockpit and going down on one leg and back up and that's fine and that's that's really quite good the modification that I thought would be an addition to that after he'd done a number of these and um, um, become very confident competent was to do something that was a little more testing for his balance and the alignment of the knee and the body so this one includes the seat and you can stand here and this it's not easy so we do this all the time. We sit and then we stand up. And most of us actually stand up in not the right way. We use our hamstring muscles rather than our glutes to stand up. So if I was to use my glutes, I would be more purposeful, stronger through the core and press up using my glutes. Well, an exercise that's stronger than just a single leg uh, dip would be this one. 
So we can start with something that is a little bit diff more difficult and I'm going down and I'm looking for the knee alignment. So this is quite important. So I'm going down and I'm sitting. Now, how do I get up? I need to engage my core, my glutes and press my body up. And it's not as easy as it seems. Going down without your knee moving and shaking, we all find quite difficult to start with. But after some strengthening and some alignment work, you'll be able to squeeze and stand up. And so that's just an extension beyond the standard sort of, I'm doing a, a knee sort of squat exercise. Yeah, that's awesome. That's an, that's an exercise Darren showed me, uh, I think the first day, and I really noticed a big difference. I've been doing these one-legged sort of squats with one foot on the seat, and then he showed me a way that was uh, a little bit more intense, and, uh, and it really helps. You can see the, the knee waving from side to side a little bit, but after doing it a few, you know, for a few days, you can see that it, it gains more uh, stability and uh, yeah, it, it was really interesting, but it's, it's just so simple. You keep one leg off the ground and you slowly sit down. And the slower you can do it, the better, more controlled. And, uh, and you can see Darren's knee is very stable. Mine wobbles a little bit from side to side. But um, yeah, a fantastic exercise and something that's probably gonna be really helpful for getting in and out of dinghies. And uh, even if you slip on the deck, it's gonna give you a lot more stability. Um, it's been really interesting having someone on board that's at sort of uh, an Olympic coach level um, sort of fitness training. Uh, if it's taught us anything, it's really just showing us that you need to do just a minimum amount of exercise every couple of days um, to, to keep up some mobility and strength. And, um, and you know, that can be walking, a little bit of yoga, um, as Darren's showing us, some leg squats, some chin-ups, push-ups, whatever it is. And it can be anywhere around your boat, you know, you don't need to be in a gym. And, um, and it's just really a matter of doing uh, a little bit each, each couple of days or each day. So, um, you know, there's really no excuse for it. We should all be doing it. And, uh, and definitely as we all age, it, uh, it helps us a lot with uh, back problems and, um, you know, knee, hip, whatever it is. Uh, thank you very much for that, Darren. And I uh, hope everyone's enjoyed uh, this little short video just on some uh, basic exercises, living in a small space. Cheers for now.